Welcome to a performance-based question on the Network N10008 exam. Let's take a look at our task on the left. Task number one says log into router. Task two, navigate to port forwarding. And task three, open port 443. So we're going to forward a port. We're going to allow traffic into a network, which is usually dangerous, but in a controlled environment, uh, we'll learn how to do that. Uh, here is the question below. The network administrator asks you to open port 443 for the new web server that is 192.168.3.100 on the firewall. Use options below to help you. Not all options will be used. TCP, UDP, we have 3.100, we have 3.1, uh, HTTP, HTTPS, and then we have what looks like password. So we're going to use these options to help us solve this performance-based question. <clears throat> okay, so let's look at the first part. So how familiar are you with logging into a router as a network technician or a network engineer? You'll definitely have to be doing that quite a bit, logging into switches, routers, and other network devices. So which option would you use to log into this Linksys router with this IP config that the test provides to you. So IP config is very important fundamental command. So which IP address is the router? Do we know? Um, okay, bit of more of a fundamental question, but we should know that the gateway is where we log into or the 3.1. Okay, so let's see, let's put that here. So we're going to use 3.1 because that matches 3.1. Can I type in here? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, do realistic. Realistic PBQ. So I'll just type that in there to be a little bit more organized. So we know that the gateway is uh, what our router uses. That's the IP address of the router, of the firewall, or whatever it is that we're logging into. So next one, we're at a prompt here. We went to this site. Now we're prompted for a password. Which of those on the list provided would you use for maybe a login password? I think it was something like that. Okay, so we've already eliminated two of the possible choices. So we've used our default gateway and we used a password to log into the router. So when you log into the router, it'll look something like this. You'll have a dashboard, different tabs and different things on your console on the left. So where would we go to change how we allow ports into a network? Does that sound like something that set up with our local LAN or WAN? No, not have to really do with connectivity, right? Or ports and allowing ports and traffic into our network, that would be more of security or maybe possibly administration. We need to look around, but I would say security is your best bet here. So now we've logged into the security tab. We've gone to the port area. We can see that some services are already being allowed into the network. We have SIP, which is session initiation protocol for telephones or VoIP. Um, RTP, uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure about that protocol, something to do with cameras. Um, I'm not really a camera person. All right, so now what would we put for the name of the application or the service? Port 443, if you've been studying for the Network Plus, you would know that is HTTP. S, S is for secure, it's encrypted. So what about the start and the stop? Um, just like here, we don't really need to change the port range. We can just do the whole time. Both. All right, can use both of them. We're going to do both 443. However, we notice that these services up here use UDP protocol, user data program, but we, we need to use TCP. Um, so you would select TCP for that. And then the last part, what is the IP address of the web server? Do you remember? Um, it should be 3.100. I know it says 1, but it's okay. I'm doing this on the fly. So 3.100, and then you would say enabled like that. Boom, now people can access your web server 
as long as the DNS is working correctly on the outside, they will be able to access your network on the inside. Cool. Well, I hope you learned something new there. Do you feel comfortable? Do you feel confident? Are you, you know, feel good about it or are you totally lost? That'll give you an idea of how you will feel on the PBQs. Get some practice now. Log into your routers, log into your switches, open some ports and figure out how it works and see how you can access your network from the outside. Works well for things like websites and maybe even remote desktop. Okay, good luck on your exam. Thank you for watching.